Hello, today we're going to decoupage a spoon. I showed you a picture on the Facebook of one I'd already done and this one I thought I would do with butterflies and some flowers. The other one that I did, I did with this napkin which is very very pretty and I put a bird on the back of the spoon and some flowers in the bowl of the spoon and then just at the top here. This one I want to do so it turns so I'm going to use the blue butterfly but also so it's a little bit different so I don't want them all the same. The previous one I did I used matte medium this one I'm going to try using peat watered down PVA just to make sure that it works just as well. Before you start, once you've chosen your images that you want to use off your tissue, you separate the three layers of tissue so that you just end up with one layer, which is very translucent really. Then if you want to get your image out from the sheet. Say I wanted to use this butterfly. I've already done this so that you don't have to watch me do it with all the images. You just wet your little paintbrush, go round the outside and then it just tears away. As I say, you've already taken the bottom two layers of your tissue off so that there's just the one layer left. If you want it a bit more off, you just go around a little bit nearer. And go around a little triangle. I think I'll leave his antennae on. If I can manage. Take those away. It's very delicate, we might lose the antennae. If you hang on to the bit of the napkin that you want to save, you want to keep, and this antenna is very, very delicate, but I think I'll be able to save it, and then pull the other away, it's easier. So if I wanted to pull a bit more off, I'd hang on to the wing and then just pull. So there you've got your separate little butterfly. It doesn't matter if you've got a little bit round the outside, because you won't be able to go right, right up to the edge because it, it would just be just too incredibly difficult. I think I'll probably just go a bit nearer on that corner. So I support the bit that you want to use. Right, so I'll do the inside of the bowl first. I am going to hang mine up. So I've had I tied some ribbon here and various laces and things and I'm going to hang them in a group somewhere. If you want to just have them laid about for decorative use, it doesn't matter which way up, but I want mine to be displayed this way up. So that's why I've turned them that way up. So a little bit of PVA and water. Hopefully this will work because I've tried. I have actually tried decoupage glue and it doesn't work as well. It actually peels off quite easily. Um, the matte medium worked very well and when I tried getting it off it was a struggle. So I've got a coat of PVA, I've got my little butterfly which I want more or less centre. I'll just press it down and from the centre like we've always done go out to the edges just very very gently so that there's no air bubbles so from the centre outwards now my the bowl of my spoon is fairly big so I can get quite a big 
image in the centre. If you've got a smaller spoon, just make sure that you go, make sure the image fits in. All right. So that's the butterfly. If I just left like that and didn't put anything else, you would see the white tissue. It doesn't completely go. So, with my leftover bit of tissue, I then piece in extra bits so it takes it to the edge. So that the bits that I won't be using, like this, I can see where my white tissue ends, pop another bit on and do the same. I'm dabbing rather than brushing because it is a join. If I brush, then it might lift areas. So that bit can go in there. Be a little bit closer. Again, dab it so that it's on. And I keep going round the edges, applying little bits so that they fill the gaps basically. Now at the edges, I actually go a fraction over. So this little bit I uh, will go onto the back because my spoons are going to see the bowl rather than the back most of the time. So I'm going to go over onto the back because the back in, on mine isn't going to be quite as critical as the front. And you just keep going round with spare bits of tissue with the other one I just did the blue bits. This because I've got a white, a creamy white background, I'm just using the creamy bits. And as before, I'm tearing, I'm not cutting, because you want the fluffy edge. So here, it is a bit of a fiddly job, but it's worth it in the end. So that was a gap, so I filled that gap in. Then I go over the edge, onto the back. At the bottom, I've got a fair bit that I need to cover up. And then I'm going to go onto the back again. You will, because it is curved surface, get a few little wrinkles. A few little wrinkles don't matter that much. And the original one that I did, I did have wrinkles and I put some little, little bit of gilding wax. And actually it looked nice, the wrinkles highlighted a bit. and. I actually liked it. So, no, I don't think I'll do that. I need a bit more white. One last little bit of white. to the back. 
And you basically keep doing that till you've filled all of this. I've got the odd little gap which I can finish later. So it's mostly covered. I want a bit of interest up here and also on the end of the spoon there. So this is off a separate napkin but I just thought it'll look quite pretty if I have part of a flower Now you shouldn't really normally do this, but I think I need more of the flower, that's it. And then over to the back. And then, because I've got more of this than I need, I'm just going to tear it off. Because it's wet with the glue, it fairly well comes off on its own. Just be very, very careful. Then I'll go around onto the back. As I say, the back of this of mine is not going to be seen as much, so I don't mind if there's wrinkles. So I've got some leaves and a flower there. What else have we got? I've got a little bit more leaf here left. So I might just go here with the leaf. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So a bit of a leaf coming down there. And then Going on to the back and that on to the back. So I've got a leaf coming there. I might just do a little bit of a flower. I might do a flower on the back. That looks quite pretty. So I could have a little bit of the flower coming into the bottom there. So a bit more glue, and I know I've already got the tissue on, but it doesn't matter if you layer white over that white. So I've got the leaves and the flower just there. Then over onto the back again. So I've got a vast expanse of nothing. So I think I'm going to put one butterfly. I'll glue. Butterfly there. And as I say, from the centre outwards, very, very gently. That's where his antenna was nearly missing. Now this bit, because I don't want it to go onto the front, I'll wet again. 
and it should just come away. That's it. That's it. get rid of part of it. It's a very delicate situation. to the outside very gently we've got two butterflies on there we've got a bit of a gap up here so a lot quicker than the, I did the first one so you can take your time and, and it is quite important to take your time and not rush things if you rush too much you make mistakes this isn't as perfect as the other one because I've rushed so that I can get this all recorded in a shortish time for you but that's the top that's the bottoms looking quite nice I'll just make sure those little bits go over so that's looking quite nice that's looking quite nice but I still have got some white areas so what I'll do is I'll find We've got a leaf here, which is quite nice. And we'll have a bit more white, more cream. And we've got little bits there. in a little bit there these bits I'm not going to bother about because after I've dried it I'm going to sand those off so Must admit the matte medium is easier to work with than the PVA, but the PVA is okay. See so, you now I've got a le I've got a gap and I've got the gap is now filled with the leaf. That's it. So I don't think we've hardly any gaps left at all now. Now at this stage I am going to dry this off and the other bit because then you'll be able to see what I do for the edges. Sorry about the noise.
very careful because obviously the metal gets hot. I think that's about dry. Everywhere. Yep. Now I've left my sanding block upstairs, but I would very, very, very gently just sand these little bits off so that they aren't there anymore basically. No, I haven't got a sanding block here. Very remiss of me. Um, but then once that's done and it's all completely dry, I just take a little bit of, this is my finnabar gilding wax, on my finger. And I just went over it a little bit because it picked up some of the wrinkles, which I, I didn't mind. made it look a bit more antique -y. Now, here I need a little bit more tissue. Can you see it just picks up the... And it ties it in as well, if you put it around the edges. But imagine all that paper's gone. So that gives you the general idea. Uh, I think actually the darker colour tissue, like this one, looks better. But you have got to be careful that you cover every single little bit. Um, because otherwise it does show. Um, but that's basically the general idea. Thank you.